good student and enjoyed being with her friends. Alyssa's life was just beginning. For nearly 20 years, those who loved Alyssa have longed to see her or hear from her one last time. They have longed for closure and demanded that anyone who was responsible for her disappearance be held accountable. Today, I am announcing the grand jury indictment for second degree murder of Michael Roy Turney, Alyssa's stepfather. With this announcement, I must say that a charge of a crime is merely an accusation. The defendant is presumed innocent until proven guilty. And I would also be remiss if I didn't take a moment to thank the dedicated officers at the Phoenix Police Department for their decade-long work on this case. They worked tirelessly to get us to this point. They led down the facts as they saw them. They didn't give up on Alyssa. Their integrity and professionalism is what we expect from our police departments, and I could not be prouder of them, and so should the community. To Alyssa's sister, Sarah Turney, your perseverance and commitment to finding justice for your sister, Alyssa, is a testament to the love of a sister. Because of that love, Alyssa's light has never gone out. And she lives on in the stories and photos that you have shared with the community. This passion you have and have demonstrated for her during your journey is something that will keep Alyssa's memory alive forever. And while this is just the first step of many seeking justice for Alyssa, I am committed to bringing anyone, the person responsible for Alyssa's death to justice. Seeking justice for victims of crime and their families will always be important and job one for this office. And it's why I became a prosecutor to protect victims of this community and hold those who do wrong accountable. When seeking justice on behalf of victims, being a voice for those who can no longer speak for themselves, like Alyssa, those guide us every single day. Because in our office, our prosecutors do the right things for the right reasons every single time, even when someone's light might have been turned off, we will keep it alive. And with that, I'd like to welcome Phoenix Police Chief Jerry Williams. So good afternoon. Thank you, uh, County Attorney Alistair O'Dell. I want to thank, thank our partners with your office. Um, we've worked very closely with your folks and in order to bring this case to the point where an arrest could be made. So getting to this point involved work of hours within two decades of folks on my department. I am so proud of our investigators who never gave up on this case and worked so hard to get justice for Alyssa attorney and the loved ones who were impacted by her disappearance. Countless people worked on this case, but there are two people in particular I would like to mention who worked tenaciously to bring this matter to justice. Detective Stuart Summershoe and Detective Will Anderson have followed this case for more than a decade and their work, your work, has led us to the point where we are at today where the grand jury has indicted a suspect and an arrest has been made. They've worked closely with the family members of Alyssa Turney and never let setbacks discourage them. As was mentioned about passion and tenacity, this is a passion and commitment and is why I'm so proud to be a member of the Phoenix Police Department. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Williams. And with that, we'll take some questions. And we have a question from Justin Lum. Justin, your microphone is live. If you'll unmute yours, you're ready to go. 
Hi. Yeah, you guys can hear me? There's a little bit of an echo, but we can hear you. I uh, would just like to ask you, Alistair, just what it's like to nearly 20 years of this high profile cold case and finally uh, the relief of getting this arrest made and just, you know, being able to tell Sarah that this has been done. Well, I thank you for the question. And it's overwhelming, but in a good way. This family has longed for her and to have answers for so long. And the Phoenix Police Department worked tirelessly about this case. And it is so important that we recognize that. At the same time, I'm grateful that our office collaborated with Phoenix Police Department to bring Alyssa's killer to a grand jury. And now we face a trial. It is is a point of pride for us that we worked so hard on this case but the credit goes to the Phoenix Police Department. And with that, I'm happy to bring up the case agent, Detective Anderson, at this point. Thank you, County Attorney Adele, and thank you, Chief Williams. Uh, Mr. Long, was there a specific question you would like answered? Um, Again, my name is... Yeah, this is being for the detective on this case. Um, just on how the arrest of Turney back in 2008 and all the weapons seized and explosive devices, how that may have connected or, or, or provided any leads to the arrests this afternoon. And are there more details on how Turney was here, was arrested in Mesa at his home or, or whereabouts? I'll take those one at a time. Uh, back in 2008, that was the beginning of the criminal investigation. In 2001, Alyssa Marie Turney was reported as a runaway. Uh, Nothing exigent, nothing concerning. Uh, Father called in to report that his child had left home, had left a note, and uh, stated she was going to California. Uh, The progression of the case beyond that was handled exactly how that was explained, as a missing child. Um, NICMIC resources were called into use, and it was handled exactly how how it was portrayed as a missing person. Uh, In 2008... We became aware of additional information. We began a, a consummate reinvestigation of the Turney disappearance, and that involved more than 200 interviews of people who knew her, people from her neighborhood, former friends from elementary school, Barry Goldwater High School, Paradise Valley High School, her boyfriend at the time of her disappearance, and in-depth interviews with her family members, the people closest to her, the people she worked with. Through that, we began to see that this was not a runaway child. Something else had happened. Uh, That drew us back to the home of Michael Roy Turney, the home where he had reported the child missing and the home where he was currently residing. Uh, We drafted search warrants. We served them upon both of those residences. We bumbled into, for lack of a better description, Mr. Turney's bombing plot. That is the crime that he was arrested for, the improvised explosive devices back in 2008. Uh, He went to court. Uh, He eventually took a plea, and he served 10 years. But him going to jail for that is not justice for Alyssa. That investigation remains open. Missing person cases remain open until recovery of that person. Um, I wanted to thank the Maricopa... Maricopa County Attorney's Office for allowing us to prevent this, to present this case to the grand jury. Uh, no body homicide investigations are some of the most difficult cases in the world to resolve. But uh, the work of not just me, but every case investigator, everybody working on this investigation all the way back to 2001 is important. I'm just happy to be here on the day that we see our first step towards resolution. Thank you, Detective. We have a little bit more time for questions. Do we have any other questions? Uh, William Pitts has a question. William, your microphone is live. If you'll unmute on your end, you're ready to go. Hi. Uh, as the detective said, uh, nobody homicides are very difficult to prosecute. How are we certain that Alyssa is actually dead at this point? What evidence is there to tie him to a murder if we don't have a body? 
Well, I appreciate the question. However, I can't answer that, especially because uh, we're, we're very mindful of pretrial publicity as our ethical duty as prosecutors. Um, however, we had sufficient information to go forward, and the grand jury issued an indictment. Do we have any other questions? Justin Lum has a follow-up question he'd like to ask. Justin, your microphone is live. If you'll unmute on your end, you're ready to go. Yeah, this is a kind of a piggyback off William's question, but could this charge, could you be seeking first degree potentially if there's more evidence provided? Is, is that the end goal? And, and how exactly have we tied uh, Michael to this crime? Again, thank you for the question. I'm not going to talk about how he's tied to the crime other than a grand jury found probable cause, and we will let that play out before the courts. Um, however, I can tell you that if other evidence comes forward as the case moves forward, prosecutors often change charges. Um, it's not without their own possibilities. However, right now he has been indicted for second-degree murder. And that's all the time we have for questions. So I thank all of you for being here virtually today. We appreciate your participation. And thank you so much. And we wish the best to the Turney family and Alyssa's sister, Sarah.